My Vision Express 2014 is introducing Dr. First as our e-prescribed vendor. Dr. First will allow you to write medication prescriptions and transmit them to your patient's pharmacy. You can also import medication history and maintain an allergy list. For our meaningful use customers, Dr. First will be able to satisfy Stage 1, Core Objective number 2, Drug Interaction Checks, Core Objective number 4, e-prescribe, Menu Objective number 1, Formulary Checks, and menu objective number seven, medication reconciliation. It will also satisfy stage two, core objective number one, CPOE, core objective number two, ePrescribe, core objective number six, clinical decision support rules, measure number two, and core objective number 14, medication reconciliation. In order to set up your practice with Dr. First, you would need to first contact your My Vision Express sales account manager. A My Vision Express representative will be able to provide you with the setup and account information you need to start using Dr. First. Once you have been given your username and password, you would navigate to File, Setup, and Physician Resource. For each doctor who will be using Dr. First, you will be entering an e-prescribed username. Once again, this will be provided to you by My Vision Express. After the physician is set up, you will go to File, Setup Employees to set up your staff. Each employee will have a username provided to you by us. A role type will be specified for each employee during setup with our MyVision Express representative. Select the physician to link to the employee in the Link House Physician field. Keep in mind that Dr. First accounts will be managed through us. Any changes to your staff must be notified to us in order to keep your account up to date. To access Dr. First, you can either go to the patient profile or the exam. The Health tab, which is available in both modules, has two sub-tabs where Dr. First can be accessed, the Medications or the Allergies tab. In the exam, you have an additional way to access ePrescribe through the Assessment tab. Dr. First defaults to the Manage Meds page. This page will display the patient information with date of birth, gender, phone number, and visit history. To document visit history, just click on Visit Today, and it will display the last office visit. If you want to view all previous visits, you can click on the Show Patients Visits link, and below it will display. On the bottom, you have your patient medication report. So this is where you're going to document outside prescriptions. You can either search or find the medication name, or you can choose from your favorites list. On the bottom, you have the current medication list for that patient, and you have several links. You have your display detailed medication report link, your mini report link, which will give you a report on that patient's medication, allergy, and problems at a glance. You have your medications reviewed link, which will allow you to document the last time that you reviewed the medications list. And you can see on the top on the toolbar that it dates and times when the last medication list was reviewed, as well as who reviewed it. Then on the bottom you have your show medication history, which will show you any inactive medications. You have your pharmacy and your formulary section here, so you can add a pharmacy or even a formulary for that patient. For the pharmacy, you can click on the change link, and from here you can search for a pharmacy list. You have several options such as the name, the city, address, state, phone, zip code, fax number. You also have more search criteria such as the pharmacy type, if it's retail, specialty, or long-term care. Once you've, once you've entered your search criteria, you can click on Find, and it'll display all the pharmacies. When looking at your pharmacy list, you can either add it as your favorite, or you can edit it, or you can delete it from the list. For formularies, you can click on Add, and then you can add all your formulary information. Once you've added that appropriate information, you can click on Submit New Insurance. The Prescribe page will allow you to prescribe a medication. So here you can either search for the medication name, or you can choose from your favorites list. You have your medications list here as well, so you can manage these medications. You have your pending prescriptions for this patient on the bottom, as well as any allergies and problems. I'm going to search for a medication. 
I'll click on Find, and you have one of two choices. If for any reason Dr. First does not find that medication name, you can free text the name. Otherwise, you can click on the name. From here, you can choose the doctor that's prescribing the medication. You can also choose the pharmacy if you're going to be submitting that medication electronically. You have a split prescription button, which will allow you to split the prescription and send it to two different pharmacies. You have your drug sig. You have the dosage amount. The dosage. The route. The frequency. And any instructions. You also have a section for duration, quantity, any refills, and also any directions to the pharmacist or any directions to the patient. On the bottom, you have a comment section, which is for office use only, and you have a dose calculator. So based off of the patient's weight, this will calculate the appropriate dose to give to the patient. Once you've written your prescription, you can either click on continue, or you can change the drug, or you can also cancel. Once you click continue, it's going to take you to the review prescription page. You can go ahead and click OK. You can go back and modify the prescription. You can cancel it, or this specific prescription you can add to your favorites list. Once you press on OK, it's going to take you back to the prescribe page and it'll show you any pending prescriptions for the patient. So if you want to submit this prescription to the pharmacy or print it, you just type in your password. You have several options to send it. You can send and print it. You can print it without sending or you can sign it without sending. You do have additional options here so you can modify and go back. You can delete it or you can add it to your favorites list. In your status, if there's any warning, it'll appear here, and it'll tell you exactly what that warning is. If there's no allergy information, it will prompt you to add the allergy information. Going into the Manage Allergies page, you can document any allergies that the patient may have, or you can indicate no known drug allergies. You can choose either from the common allergy list or you can search for the allergy. You can display a full medication report. You can also document the last time the allergies list was reviewed. If you click on this link, it will date and time when it was reviewed as well as who reviewed it. On the bottom, it will display inactive allergies. The renewal request page will show you any messages you can either see for all providers or a specific provider from a pharmacy. The pending prescription page will display any pending prescriptions for this patient. You can still prescribe a medication from here. You can manage medications and view your medication list. And on the bottom, you still have your allergies and your problem list. Your medication history page will allow you to obtain data from a patient. You can either obtain it from 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, a year, or even two years. This will display their medication history. Once you've chosen your search criteria, you can click on Obtain New Data, and below it will show you what that medication history is. If there is none, then you'll see this message here. You have your medications list here and your current allergies list here as well. The prescription report will allow you to search per provider or all providers, either that current patient or all patients, the status, the drug type, such as scheduled only or non-scheduled only or both. Then once you have your search criteria entered, you can display or you can print the report. 
In addition to reports provided by Dr. First, you can access notifications, prescription reports, and renewal reports by going to our Tools menu Options. The Options section of Dr. First allows you to have additional options such as changing your password, configuring formularies, even creating your favorite prescriptions. You also have Patient Advisor Preferences. Patient Advisor allows you to provide patient education and prescription savings like coupon vouchers and copay cards. You have two sections for preferences, one for the user, which here will give you a list of all the different types of preferences, and also one for the practice. Dr. First also provides several reports, such as activity reports, drug reports, decision reports, periodic reports, pharmacy reports, and provider agent reports. The activity report allows you to print out a record of prescriptions that have been created on the site by the practice. You can also filter between doctors and types of medications. You can filter between the doctors, also the date range to create the report. The drug report allows you to search for how many patients and who are taking a specific drug. The decisions report allows you to examine safety and formulary checks for the practice. The periodic report will note recent prescription activity for a specific provider. The pharmacy report will display the entire practice pharmacy list, which is created by the practice for available printing. Lastly, the provider agent report will show provider agents enabled by providers. The return to My Vision Express page will simply close out of Dr. First and take you back to My Vision Express and the help page will take you to our support central page in myvisionexpress.com. Even when you're not actively in the Dr. First website, My Vision Express will have Dr. First messages appear when logged into My Vision Express. These messages will have a table containing notifications such as renewal requests, incomplete prescriptions, or prescriptions requiring a signature. Prescription reports and renewal reports, as well as notifications, can be found under Tools and ePrescribe. For other video tutorials or how-to guides, please go to Support Central in MyVisionExpress.com. Thank you for viewing this video tutorial.